Welcome to our first example for drawing equipotential surfaces. So once again we have a positive charge of 2.5 Q held on a horizontal plane and a positive charge of Q held above north of it. And we want to sketch the equipotential surfaces around these two charges. Now in a previous example we showed you how to draw the field lines for this situation. So I'm not going to go over that. Here are the field lines we know that the equipotential surfaces are going to be at 90 degrees to the field lines. And the first thing we're going to do is draw the easy ones. So draw the innermost equipotential surfaces. A good trick when it comes to drawing equipotential surfaces is to begin by drawing little lines that are perpendicular to your field lines. Now you can see that close to Q I've drawn four little lines that are perpendicular to my field lines. Close to the two and a half Q, I've drawn sort of the beginning of two concentric circles, just using small lines that are perpendicular to my field lines. The idea is that once you've drawn the perpendicular bits, you can join them using a dotted line. To draw our next equipotential surface, we're going to proceed exactly the same way. So always begin by drawing lines that are perpendicular to your field lines and then we are going to join them together. In the particular case when you have two charges that are of the same sign there is one equipotential surface that's going to look like a figure eight. But remember just one equipotential surface. So let's draw an equipotential surface that's a little bit more on the outside now. Same procedure First of all, little perpendicular lines, perpendicular to the field lines, and then we are going to join them. When we join our little lines together, we realize that on the outside, the shape of the equipotential surface is kind of like a peanut. We are done. Spread the joy of physics.